Hi, it's Natasha. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. We're gonna do a power yoga class, fun sequencing, fun flow class. Work at your own level. Feel free to modify if needed or progress. And if you want to pause the video at any time and work on something a little bit longer, be my guest. Let's get started in what's called a turtle shell position in Pilates. We're gonna bring ourselves into a seat with our knees bent in, um, just to where it feels good for you and where you're maybe able to reach your opposite ankle. You can bring your feet close together to touch and we'll just start to round the spine and take some nice deep breaths together. If you'd like to shut out light a little bit, you can bring your closed eyes right by your knees and just let them rest there. If that doesn't feel good, you can loosen your grip and just find a place that does. We want to take some relaxing and grounding breaths, bringing us into our practice, into our bodies, and this moment in time. Let's take an inhale, feel the back body expand. Feel the shoulder blades separate as you fill up the back with air, and then exhale, big sigh, out the mouth, letting go of any stale air. Any negative energy, stress, judgment, anxiety, imagine that exhale with sending it off into space. Deep breath in, big sigh out. And then find a nice breath work that matches how you're feeling and the style of breath that's working for you in this moment, whether it's a Ujjayi Pranayama breath down through the nose, or if you'd like to just keep breathing in through the nose and sighing out the mouth. This is your practice, so you're gonna make these decisions on what feels best for you. One more deep breath in. And big exhale, emptying out the body. Bring your grip onto your shins now and straighten out the spine for some shoulder rolls backwards. Circle the shoulders forward. And some cat cow, rounding the spine, leaning backwards. Pull the belly in, feel the shoulder blades again separating and then retract the shoulders, squeezing them behind you as you send the chest and heart forward. The gaze can stay forward, or if you feel good, dropping it up. Exhale, catch, round, lean away. And inhale, pull the heart forward. Exhale, catch. Inhale through cow, shine the chest through, shoulder blades retracting behind you. Now send the fingertips behind you and continue to Push the chest forward. Maybe drop the head. Exhale, grab onto shins, cat, finding your edge. Maybe it feels like if you let go, you would fall back. Pull the belly in, lean, and then fingertips grounding behind you. Push the chest forward, possibly dropping the head back. If that feels good, if you have any neck issues, just keep it neutral. Take a gentle twist, bring one elbow and hook it across, and you can see if you can place the hands down, or if that feels better to just lift up through the spine. You can play with both, inhale and exhale. Knees together, toes together. Other side, maybe hook that elbow across, see if you can ground the hands down, and then bend that elbow that's bent and hooked and see if you can find the mat. Maybe fingertips is a little bit easier. Or palms. Bend, twist. Exhale, deepen. Come back through center. Nice work. Let's take a little core Navasana boat pose to fire into the belly so that our practice is nice and strong with our core, which is really one of my favorite things to work on. Good. Glue those inner thighs together. Send the arms forward. Proud chest and heart. Breathe here. Let's send one leg out and then pull it in. Left leg out. Tabletop position. Four. Three. Two. And one. Go ahead and grab on. Give yourself a nice big hug. Tuck the chin. We're going to flex and point the toes and circle the ankles as big 
big as you can, reverse, and then do that with the wrist. Flex and point the wrist, circle and circle, and then both together. Flex, point, circle, circle, both direction last time. Flex, point, circle right outside, circle inside. Let's come on to the feet, Malasana. Maybe grab the ankles, lean the shoulders forward, and then pry the knees apart. Any movements that feel good for you, rocking, swaying, elevating heels and trying to melt them down. Inhale and exhale. Good. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Bring the chest forward to the thumb and just enjoy this nice uh, lat uh, engagement here on the sides of the back and also a nice groin inner thigh stretch. Then place the hands down and we're just going to hop it back to tabletop. Knees down under hips. Hands under shoulders, spread the fingers wide and start to circle three times, shoulders jetting over the fingers, bellies pulled in. Three times to the left. The hips can also start to circle around, barrel circles to the right with the spine. Circle, barrel circles to the left, protract and sink, protract and cat cow. Inhale, lift head, chest, tailbone. Exhale, round, push the earth away as you press the mat forward, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, lift head, chest, tailbone, shoulders down. Exhale, again, push them down and puff up through the back of the heart. Squeeze the belly in, tuck the tailbone down. Come into neutral. Good, send the hips back and then rock it out a little bit here. Hips right to left, shimmy, shimmy. We're going through a child's pose to a baby cobra. So a little bit of arm work will be involved. Stretch the fingers forward and see if you can swivel the hips down, bend the elbows. Come back, child's pose. Round the spine and then sway the hips down as you bend the elbows, send the heart and shoulders forward and down. And then round, you'll engage the glutes as well. Round the spine. Through cobra, you can start to keep the arms straighter if your spine can bend that deeply. Awesome. Otherwise, just bend the elbows until you feel a nice stretch and no strain on the low back. Exhale, child's pose. Round forward, cobra. Swing the hips forward, maybe the pubic bone lands. Roll the heels to the sky, engage the inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes. Exhale one more time here. Round cat back, swim the hips forward, heart forward, shoulders back and down. Nice work. All right, so from your little cobra, we're gonna actually bring the right hand out and then swivel and stack the hips. So we're gonna actually sink into the shoulder and feel the side of your body stretch. Take some core to hold the balance. Top hand can assist you. And then see if maybe you can scoot that hand a little closer under the shoulder. Deep side body stretch here. Inhale, and we're gonna roll back, bend the elbows, cobra. And then your other hand is going to come out to the side, roll your shoulders and hips to stack, and sink that left shoulder up to the ear. Feel the left side body stretch. Maybe make it a balance or fingertips down. Walk the hand in a little closer for a deeper stretch. Sink the shoulder to the ear. You could drop the ear to the shoulder. And then bend the elbows, roll back to the belly. This time, maybe upward facing dog. Swivel the hips here, shoulders and hips. Shine the heart forward, shoulders down, gaze up or neutral neck, gaze forward, exhale, lift the hips, and round, roll down to downward facing dog. You can just step over those feet or roll over and start to walk your dog. Chest towards toes, spread fingers, walking four, three, two, one, tiptoe high, exhale low, inhale high heels, Exhale, melts, chest towards toes, strong shoulders, long side body and armpits. Inhale up, exhale, hold. Firm the quads, draw the kneecaps upwards, press the mat forward. 
couple breaths here. Inhale high on the toes, gaze forward, bend the knees. So now your belly is gonna bounce on your thighs for three on your quads, two, one. And then we're gonna take a jump, landing in the same place for three. You can tuck or pike, two, one. On the last one, hop it forward. Hanging forward fold, Uttanasana. Circle the wrists, maybe plant the top of the hands down, put some weight compression into them. Bend the knees if you need to. Circle the shoulders. Swing the arms forward and back. Keep the core engaged and then release it. Shake the head out, no and yes. Ragdoll up for four. Belly plugs in, three. Tuck the tailbone under, two. Roll the shoulders, stack the vertebrae, one. Mountain pose, ground down into the feet, spread the toes, anchor. Rock forward and back a few times. Side to side, shifting weight. And then ground down into center. Heart forward, shoulders back and down. Think of reaching the crown of the head towards the sky, firming the belly, wrapping the ribs, quads on, deep breath. And exhale. Inhale, arms overhead. Take your palms to the base of the neck and send the heart upward. Come to neutral, send the arms up. This time, arms reach back, heart to sky. Exhale, forward fold. Release the head heavy. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands down, bend the knees, bounce. Push the shoulders down and jump. Plank pose. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the feet closer to the middle of your mat or towards each other. Lift the right leg high, down dog split, hips are square. From down dog split, come high on the left toes, keeping your hips up, knee to nose. Down dog split. Knee to nose. You're going to look at your knee and watch it come tap your nose. Three, two, so we're not dropping into plank. Spread the fingers, grip the mat. One, stay here. Now lower that right knee and send the left leg back. Squeeze the glutes and hamstrings, push the shoulders down. Tuck the left toes, right knee to nose. High shin, drop the knee, left leg lifts. Three more, round knee to nose, knee down, left leg lifts, right knee to nose, bring it under the hip, left glute squeeze, one more time, inhale, exhale, press into the left toes, swing back, this time step forward and through. Low lunge on fingertips, shine the heart forward, breathe here. We're gonna take a twisting lunge, Sinking into the hips, doing this little horizon bend and straighten. So we'll swivel onto the knife edges of the feet. Feel that IT band and the right hip and external rotation. So stretching the hips, hip flexor, reach, and then lift, horizon rainbow arc, and sink. Two more, inhale, hips up, push the shoulder down. Exhale, sink, inhale, lift. And exhale, sink. From this position, we're going skandasana on the left foot to the back of your mat. Swivel and find your low lunge. So just kind of finding some ease here for your ankle, your inner thighs, hip, flexor, good. And then switch from side to side. So you can use your hands to get you there. You can flex that opposite toe. You can pull the elbow and shoulder to pry the knee apart. And then, or maybe try a few with no hands, going back and forth. Breathe. Stay towards the top of your mat. So this is my right foot. I'm gonna bring my palms forward, and then this front foot now slides out to fallen triangle. Fallen triangle. Push the hips forward, engage core on shoulder, pressing down. Big breath, abduct. Four, leg lifts. Three, two, one. Bring that knee down. 
lift up. All right, this is a modified side plank, and we're gonna work some core here. Side stretch towards the extended leg. Now, as you come down out in space, we're gonna rotate, maybe tap the elbow down. It's kind of tricky. Side bend, full trunk rotation, elbow tap. Or you don't have to go that deep. Two more, side, twist. Side stretch, trunk rotation, twist. Come back through side plank, lift the knee, fall in triangle, now bend into the back knee and straighten. Bend, you can sit, charge up, sit, charge up, bring the right knee back down, both hands down, pigeon pose, swing the right knee towards right wrist, turn towards the top of your mat. Reps here. Rotating the left hip forward, right hip back, shoulders down. Find a nice straight spine, deep hip flexor and quad stretch. And that right hip spine with some really intense external rotation, especially if your hips are tight. Breathe here. All right. We're going to bring that left knee in to more of a 90-90 pigeon shape. And let the hips settle here. Forward fold for three for two, nose to mat, and one. Hold it, come up, turning my body to the right. I'm gonna twist and spread my fingers under my shoulders. Take a couple breaths here. I'm gonna step out of this to a wide leg forward fold. In, another deep breath. All right, left foot swings out, step on it. Right foot swings wide, forward fold. Toes slightly pigeon toe. Take some nice deep breaths to find ease through the hamstrings, inner thighs, and again, just feel, do what feels good for you. I can, you can take your hands to the base of the neck, try and create space through the spine and neck. You can sway, swivel, you can float upside down if you'd like. All right, from here, we're turning towards the back leg, right leg for pyramid pose. Left hip forward, right hip back. We're facing the back of our mat. Nose towards the knee. You can try to bind the hands behind the back and maybe squeeze shoulder blades together as you lift the arms up towards the sky. From pyramid, we're going warrior one. Start to float up and wiggle the back toes as you send the heart forward. Bend the front knee, left hip forward, right hip back. Arms can stay bound or we can release them over the head. I'm gonna bind them again for a humble warrior. Keep rotating the left hip forward. You can widen your stance if it doesn't feel comfortable for you. Bend a little deeper, shoulders lift up a little higher. Find again, humble warrior. Inhale, chest to sky. Exhale, right shoulder towards the right knee, perhaps inside the knee. Again, arms floating up. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lift. Gaze forward, keep the bind. We're gonna shift off to airplane. Your bind can touch your back body or can stay lifted. Lift the leg as high as you can. You lose your balance, it's okay. Just breathe and try again. Lift, lift, lift. Here's your option to jump upside down. Release the hands, spread the fingers, index finger forward. Roll the elbow crease forward. Feel free to stay here working on a split or take a little jump or a few jumps and see if you can catch a moment upside down. Breathe here, push the shoulders down. Lower down, left foot is going to swing forward, coming all the way down onto your booty. Extend the right leg long, little Pilates style teaser with a twist. 
right hand grabs left calf, ankle, whatever's there for you. We're gonna rock, grab the ankle, and twist. Rock, grab the foot, twist. Inhale, you need to use your core to stop the momentum. Looks easy, but it can be a challenge. Let's try one more. Inhale, roll, exhale, and twist. Awesome. Come back. We're going to rock ourselves back where we came from. Right knee is going to bend. Lift up. Let's practice. Roll to pistol a few times to get the practice into where we're going to your low pistol. Hold if you can. And then we're going to step all the way back to a low lunge. So we're going to step on the right foot, lift the hips, left foot flips back. Use your hands if you need and find a twisting lunge. Right arm up, rotating left shoulder and knee towards each other, scoop in through the belly, push down through the left arm, allow the left hip to stretch, but keep the back leg active. All right, from here, we're gonna send, widen our feet and hand, shift forward, balance your way to a down dog twist. So we're gonna push, step, right arm to left ankle, rotate, uh, gaze under left armpit, Breathe as you strengthen the left shoulder and push the mat forward. Twist, one more breath, and release it. All right, left leg lifts up high. Keep the hips square, press into all 10 fingers. Square the shoulders and the hips. Knee to nose in a downward facing dog with high hips. Knee to nose, hips and shin high. Give me that hamstring curl. Cat spine, tuck, bring it back, tuck. Now, left knee lands under the left hip, right glute squeeze. Tuck the right toes, left knee to nose, slip. Drop the knee, glute squeeze. Round the spine, knee to nose, shin high, knee melts. Squeeze the glute, one more, round and tuck. Knee down, glute squeeze, hold. Tuck the right toes. Down dog split, step through, low lunge, fingertips, shoulders away from ears, couple deep breaths. Strong back leg, engage the quad. Press the right hand down and twist. Press out of that right shoulder, reach the left fingertips up. Take a breath here, and we're gonna swivel to that horizon lunge stretch. Swivel onto the knife edges of the feet, lower the hips, and lift, rainbow. Sink into the right hip and shoulder, and then push shoulder down, hips up. Melt, and lift one more time. Sink, and lift. We're going to skandasana on the right leg to the front of the mat. Hold it, and then move from side to side. Move from side to side. All right, so now we're on the back of the mat, my left leg. Hands are gonna reach towards the back end and then that left foot is gonna slice through for your fallen triangle pose. Press up through the heart, breathe. Put some weight to the left hand. Abduct this leg a few times. Three, two, one, bring that knee down and lift up to this modified side plank. Gate pose, we're gonna bring our elbow to the sky. And then as you bend over the open space, twist, other elbow reaches for the mat. Side body, side body with a twist. Whew, two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale and twist, bring it all the way around. Hand back down, back through triangle, bending into the right knee. Sit, charge, sit, charge it out. Side body stretch, strong left bottom shoulder. Sit and float. Bring that knee back down, bring your hands down, and then left knee shoots out to left wrist, here up. Uh, Pigeon pose. Push the shoulders down, right hip flexor, stretching back, quad, 
Try to sit up nice and tall. Take some strong breaths here in your pigeon. As that left hip finds external rotation, if you're quite flexible, you could try to bring that foot a little bit more forward. One more breath here. Pull that back knee in. Finding this either like 45 degree shape pigeon or 90-90, again, if your hips are very open. We're gonna dip down for four. Three, nose towards mat, core on, two, and one. I'm gonna face away from you, my hands come into a twist, spread the fingers, lean over. Fingertips might work a little better for you. One more deep breath, and then stepping into a wide leg fold. Inhale, and exhale. This back right leg sweeps forward, step on it, left foot shoots out, toes in, and your forward fold wide leg straddle. Take some breaths there and just play with what feels good. We can try to sway to one leg and then bend the opposite knee. Sway to the other ankle and leg and bend the opposite knee. We can try to twist. Grabbing one leg across, coming back to the other ankle. Finding our own movements. Maybe another headstand, forearm stand, or pincha. Floating our way to the top of the mat in a pyramid pose. Left foot forward, right hip back, nose towards knee. Find the hands behind the back if you'd like. Squeeze shoulder blades together as the arms start to charge up and over. Scoop the belly in, nose towards knee or beyond. Or you can even bend the front knee if your hamstring is very tight. Good. As we lift up. We flatten out, start to bend into the front knee. Perhaps take a little hop back, maybe a little more space in your warrior one. And maybe you want to widen your stance for train track legs. Squeeze the shoulders, heart up. Let's take a breath here. Right hip forward, scoop the belly in, finding this neutral pelvis. Inhale, sink a little bit deeper. Exhale, reach the arms a little bit higher. And then again, bind the hands behind your back for humble warrior. Bow to the inside of the left knee. Drop the head heavy. Squeeze shoulder blades to create space for those arms. Play around here. Breathe. Gaze forward. Bring the hands to your back body. Start to charge off the back foot for your airplane. Hands can rest on the back or start to lift as the leg lifts, heart goes down. Airplane. And then you can play with a standing split or maybe scoot back and play with kicking up to an L shape or a half tuck handstand. Press the shoulders down, squeeze everything. Remember that left foot is gonna swing forward into a pistol. So left foot comes down when you're ready. Right foot swings through and we have a seat. Okay, breath in and out. Let's lift those legs back to our Pilates roll. Grab onto the leg and add your twist. So you can keep your leg bent or straight, depending on your hamstring flexibility. Ground and twist. The, the ankles can cross, and you can let go, and then you can grab on and hold the rotation. Up to you what works in your body. It's a little trickier than it appears. Using the core to stop the momentum. Exhale, hold. This time we're gonna roll and step on the left foot, right foot slips back, low lunge with a twist. Draw the left knee in towards the right shoulder, everything hugging to the midline. Expand through the left shoulder, so we're stacking. Good, breathe here. Gaze forward. Good, widen your foot and leg. Push down into that right hand and then slip the left foot back Land in down dog, grab your left hand to right ankle and twist. Gazing up over your right armpit, pressing the right fingers forward, tailbone up. Breathe into 
into that twist. Strong right shoulder and release it down. Downward facing dog. Bend the knees. Float, walk, step, hop. Hands stand to the top of the mat. Forward fold, Uttanasana, release it. Shake, shimmy the wrists a little bit, the shoulders. Maybe plant the back of the hands down or perhaps step on those hands. A little gorilla pose stretch. And massage the toes to the upper part of the hand or the wrist. Maybe shift weight, a little compression there. And release. Let's take a rag doll up. Rounding up the spine. And you know I like to jump, so let's just bounce it out here. You can always skip this and just hold a traditional mountain pose, or we can engage the core and just let the heart rate kind of float a little bit with a little bouncing shuffle. Or let's take this double hop, arm forward, back, four, three, two, one, and mountain. Deep breath in and exhale. Let's flow. We're going to go through part of that sequence again. We're going to add something to it and change it up a little bit. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway forward. Lift out of the chest and heart. Send the tailbone back with a very active halfway fold. Float the hands down, bend the knees, jump back to plank or chaturanga. Upward facing dog, shoulders away from ears, heart shines forward and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg up, knee to nose, right knee down, left glute squeeze. One more time. Knee to nose, right leg up, knee to nose, right knee down, glute squeeze. This time, reach that leg, knee to nose, leg back. Leg through. Twist your lunge. Gonna work a little quicker here. Swivel horizon. And lift all the way to the left corner. Skandasana. Side to side. Bring it to the right foot. Hands down. Slip the right foot through for fallen triangle. Lift that left arm, stack the hips and shoulders, abduct the bottom right leg, bend the knee and lower it to the mat. Gate pose, side body stretch, twist, left elbow taps, balance, lift back up, right hand down, left foot steps forward, and then slice that right foot down. That horizon little half um, half circle and half like a side plank. Good, and then melt down. Now, as you press the right shoulder down, I'm going to press into the right hand and step the right foot forward, and you might adjust your back foot by the pyramid. Pyramid, uh, triangle pose. Separate the, the arms in opposition, rotate everything to stack, bend the left knee, Knees meet, open, swivel onto the front left shin, stretch the side body, step onto the right foot, left foot threads back, here where you started. Let's try that one more time. Bring the left hand under the shoulder, I'm not mirroring you, so just follow my cues. Our right arm reaches over, rainbow hips, up, down, rainbow hips, step the left foot forward, Open into triangle. Skandasana, bend the right knee, bring the knees to meet. Swivel onto the right shin, forward. Step the left foot in, the right foot threads back. Horizon, side body stretch. Lower down, side body stretch, right foot steps out in front of the right hand. You can open up the left foot. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Engage the glutes, peel that left hip high, and then bend the left knee to sit. Knees meet, swivel the knee open, press onto the shin, side body stretch. Step onto the right foot. We're going to stand into our wide leg fold. You can bring the hands forward and 
jump the legs wide, release it. Nice job. Hold your wide leg fold. We're not going to be here long this time. Walk to the front edge of your mat, lunge, and then cartwheel open to peaceful warrior. Reach back. From peaceful, both arms reach back. Find an active side angle. Rotate the shoulders, gaze is up. Now, uh, active reverse triangle. Both arms reach back. Swivel the hips forward, heart to sky. And back through your Trikonasana triangle pose. Triangle, back through Skandasana, bend into the back knee, grab your right hand to your left wrist, side body stretch, open the knee to the sky, peel the heart open. You can lift off your left sit bone to get that deep stretch in the side body. Now knees meet, inhale, straighten spine, exhale, forward fold, nose towards right knee or beyond to the shin. Inhale and exhale, slip that left foot forward. Seated staff pose. Again, inhale, exhale, forward fold. From, from your forward fold here, find space by extending the heart forward. Scoop in through the belly, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Reverse plank, stretch the hands and fingers forward. Heart through, lift the hips up. From a reverse plank, have a seat, come down to the forearms. Extend the legs out, hollow body, pull the hips and ribs towards one another. Reverse tuck, we're gonna try to extend and take a high V, pop up onto the hands, or it could be a high tuck. Forearms, tuck, extend, high V. Forearms, knees to nose, extend, power onto the hands. Two more. Tuck, press, high V, low V, low boat, reverse French, and high V. Now roll to balance, roll to Utkatasana chair, shift the shoulders forward, practice that a few times, and then we're gonna roll to handstand, or you could keep the chair either a tuck, or practice roll to kicking those legs up over the shoulders. Play with that move a few times. Lots of options there. One breath when you get there. Lower down to Malasana. How did that go for you? Stretch the wrists by sitting on the forearms. I'm trying to circle out the wrists or blink them. Take a moment here. All right. Jump back to downward facing dog when you're ready. Plant the hands under the shoulders. Pop it back, down dog. Pedal, sway, left leg lifts high. Press the out of the fingers, toes to sky, knee to nose. Extend back, knee to nose. Left knee under hip, right glute squeeze. Knee to nose, extend back, knee to nose. Left knee under hip, right glute squeeze. Left knee up, left leg back, step on through. Gently in between the hands, twist, swivel, horizon, hips low, hips high, hands down, left foot sweeps through, triangle. Open up the chest and heart. Bring that left leg into abduction. Pull the knee down, lift. Side stretch, twist, come back through, lower down, have a seat. Thread that left foot back, right leg on top. All right, same thing. We have our horizon stretch, hips up, hips down. Horizon into triangle, trikonasana. Left foot slips forward, right arm lifts. You can adjust the right foot if needed. From here, bend into the right knee, Skandasana. Knees meet, 
swivel the knee from inside, internal rotation, to external rotation and sweep up on top of it. Now left foot steps in, right foot threads back, and we repeat. Horizon stretch, horizon through triangle, lift, push the right shoulder down, step, adjust, triangle, bend the left knee, trikonasana, knees meet, swivel open, stretch up onto the shin and knee, step the right foot in, thread the left foot back, try it one last time, horizon, stretch, horizon to triangle, Push down, hips up, step forward, adjust your feet, trikonasana, bend the right knee, sit, skandasana, knees meet, externally rotate and push up onto the shin and knee, step the left foot right in front of the right foot and right foot slides back, right hand slides under the shoulder, swivel, horizon, stretch, side body, horizon, Step the right foot forward, adjust to pure, uh, triangle pose. Then the left knee, sit, knees meet, knees open, and we step on it. Step onto the foot, bring the hands forward, open up to forward fold. Take two deep breaths here. Wide leg fold. <sighs> Spin towards the front of your mat and then peel cartwheel open to peaceful warrior. Back toes grounding down. Active peaceful warrior arms stretch over the head. Active side angle. Bend into the front knee. Rotate the shoulders to step. Tuck the tailbone under. Active reverse triangle. Triangle trikonasana. Ooh. Deep breath in and out. Back through Skandasana. Bend into the back knee. Have a seat. Left hand grabs right ankle. Side body stretch. Feel the heart open. Knees meet. Face the front. Adjust your body if you need to. Inhale. Exhale forward fold. Half here on. Rotate the shoulders to step. Gaze forward, elongate the spine and swing that right foot forward. Staff pose. Inhale, belly in. Exhale, fold. Lift up, reach back, reverse your plank. Heart up, shoulders down, squeeze the glutes. Hips up. Have a seat. Find your um, forearms to the mat, reverse tuck, low boat, high boat, forearms down, low boat, reverse crunch, low, press to high, low, tuck, low, high, low, tuck, low, and high, last one, low, tuck, low, and high, rock and roll, rock to balance, rock to anything you want, maybe chair, maybe a fun rock to plank. You could do a vinyasa, have fun with it. Rock, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, jump, roll to handstand. And when you're done playing, we will meet in malasana. Maybe now's a good time to walk around and get a sip of water, towel off, stretch the wrists, shoulders, little yogi's choice time. All right, just a couple more things we're gonna work on. From the last one out, we're gonna try a funky pro. So I'm gonna set up my left hand down and my right elbow down, and that might be a really tight compression for you to be down here this deep. So lift those hips up, that'll also help with the arm balance if your hips are already high. So lift the hips, you're in this crouched position, and try to swing the left knee into the left armpit and the right knee into the right armpit. Elbows line up, right elbow lines up with left hand. If you're 
If it feels better to kind of take that right hand to a 45 degree angle instead of a straight line, that's okay. Start to lean forward, protract the shoulders. Engage the core so your body is light. Lift the left foot off and then lean forward until the right foot feels light enough to pop off. Squeeze everything, push shoulders down, fold, and release. You can play with that again. If you felt really strong in that pose, you could try a flying funky crow. It's a little easier than flying crow because you have a little bit more support with the elbow down. So if that felt good, let's take the left knee into the left armpit, right elbow down, walk your feet back a little bit, hug the left knee in. Push the shoulders down, engage the core, lean forward, maybe you just bend the knees or you try to kick the right leg up. You could try to push off that left knee to a funky pincha, but I know that's quite advanced. So wherever you are is perfect. And the more you practice, the stronger you'll get. Take a moment to rest in child's pose before we go to the other side. Let's stretch that right shoulder. Come on to all fours. Right hand lifts and twists under, thread the needle. Rock, roll, sway, breathe here. All right, we're gonna try to go from our thread the needle to a supine trip twist on the back. So you, this is going to have to take some maneuvering with your knees and your hips. Bring the left hand out and then lift the hips and swivel the knees. So you're in this little fetal position and then rotate the left arm open. Shoulders press down, palms can go down, and gaze towards your left hand. Press the shoulders into the mat, left uh, knees are stacking, maybe the right hand assists. Nice. Now, extend the legs and roll back onto your belly, pressing onto the right shoulder. Nose towards mat. Left hand down to unthread this right arm out, and now flip the left knee up, drop the head. Nice deep shoulder stretch in all the ways. Inhale, exhale. Come back, let's go up dog to child's pose. Up dog or cobra, child's pose. Tuck the toes, hop forward or float forward, back through Malasana. All right, left forearm down, right hand back by the elbow. Walk your toes back and try to work into right knee into right armpit. Left knee on tricep or up high, just how, depends on how much you can compress the body. It is a little more advanced the more you're able to tuck, but it also makes yourself lighter in some ways if your core is very strong. But to start, you probably are more comfortable back with that right knee back um, towards the elbow, but just see what's there. Try it all ways. Right hand back by elbow, knees up as high as you can get them. Start with the top knee up and then lean forward, lift the bottom knee. Here's your funky crow, like Hasana. We're on the spine, pull the belly in. When you're done with that, come on down. You could do that same pose again. Um, maybe you like baby crow on both forearms. Just do what works for you. And then if you'd like to try right knee up, floating into both knees, or flying, left leg up, or floating off that bottom elbow, pushing the ground away with all effort and strength to funky, possibly landing back and coming on down. It's a lot, do what you can. It's not a competition. Take a moment here. Big breath in child's pose and then up onto tabletop, left arm lifts, threads under, hips up, wiggle, sway, push the shoulders to step. All right, so we tuck the toes under, we press into the right hand, we swivel onto the side, open the right arm out, supine twist, 
Left hand can grab outer right thigh to pull down. Deep breathing here. No frowns, release any tension. Came into the face. Now extend the legs, roll onto the belly while that left shoulder is under the chest. Nose to mat or forehead. Give it a little compression. Internal rotation of the shoulder. Right hand down, slip the left arm out and then push off the right hand to slip external rotation of the shoulder. Open up the hip and knee. Wherever you want to take your stretches, finding your edges, but able to breathe and feel good. Roll onto the belly. Shoulder should be nice and open. Let's press our knees and hamstring curl and then lift up to Cobra, King Cobra. Try that a few times, bending the knees, pushing off the hands or the fingertips and try to send the hips and heart forward and up. Creating a little more space each time, maybe fingertips, King Cobra. You could start by lifting the hips and then trying to melt them. Lifting the hips round, shoulders forward and then Bow pose, grab onto the outside edges of the feet, hug the knees and heels in. Uh, chin can come down, maybe take a little pelvic tilt to start. Inhale, kick up, breathe. Release, extend, all out effort here for three, two, one, hands down, child's pose. Shimmy and breathe into the back body. Take your elbows forward, thumb to the base of the neck. Couple nice deep breaths. Ragdoll yourself up. You can do some kneeling cat and cow here. Round and arch. And round and arch. We're gonna bring our fingertips back. Tuck the chin as you send the heart forward. Can you lift the hips and swing left foot out? You're in a kneeling position. We're gonna to try to balance quad, core, hip flexor, and then step on it and maybe throw yourself into a pincha or a handstand just for fun. Come forward onto the forearms or hands, kick up, maybe stag. And then right back, step on the left foot, right knee bends, press yourself back. Now bring that left foot under, heart to sky, head drops back, only if that feels good, chest forward. Now balance, lean onto the left side, see if you can float the right foot out. You can do that while you're back, hips up, swing forward, or you can try to balance. And then balance here, right leg out, Sitting on the left heel, a lot of shaking. Step on the right foot, handstand or forearm stand. Maybe a stab. Last time upside down, unless you're doing a wheel pose. Perhaps since we did a little bit of King Cobra, you might be able to take a scorpion. Slowly make your way down, have a seat. Low boat. Release it. Wash the knees from side to side. Here's some fun, just yogi's choice time. If you want to take a wheel or bridge, or maybe you want to rest, you want to stretch some hip openers, uh, plow or shoulder stand, I'm going to leave that up to you. Listening to the needs and what's coming up for you. If you feel done, maybe just some happy baby and giving yourself some nice massages into the low back. Feel free to hit pause and can continue to play with any shapes 
or stretches that are calling you. Otherwise, let's find a happy baby. Knees towards shoulders. Grab onto the outside tops of the feet and then pull the shoulders back and pull the feet down. As you try to retract into a nice flat back, pressing the low back, the sacrum, all the way to the shoulders and upper back, kind of finding some compression into the spine. And loosen that grip. Circles, massage the low back. Finding your final pose of rest. That could be corpse pose. You might keep the knees bent. Uh, feet wide, knees kind of caving into each other. That might feel really nice on the back after those back bends. You can bring your hand, right hand to your heart, left hand to your belly, and take a nice calming, cleansing breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And then just find, again, the place you want to be and some stillness whether that's quick or you hang out for a long time, just allowing your mind and your body to find some ease after such a strenuous and challenging practice. Allow your muscles and your cells to recuperate, renew, restore, bringing that newfound space and energy into the body with recovery. Releasing any tension that's maybe crept back in. Hips and low back, forehead, eyebrows, jaw, and tongue. And as you melt into the earth, just knowing that you are exactly where you are supposed to be. And you are perfect just the way you are. Wiggle the fingers, the toes, circle the wrists, the ankles, stretch the body long into an eye, point the toes, arch the back off the mat, fingers above you, and then give yourself one more big squeeze, tuck the knees towards the nose, rock yourself up, back to your turtle shell, grab your opposite ankle, tuck the chin, maybe this pose feels a little bit more comfortable, grounding the back, bringing your eyes to your knees and taking a full breath into the back body. Inhale, expansion, exhale, let it go. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Drop me a comment so I know you are here and I can hear how it went for you or if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I will see you very soon. Thanks.